Rotax 11 tooth front sprocket explained. Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. For all those guys that have been following along, along at home, thank you very much. Uh, we're nearly hitting 10K club here and we couldn't do it without any of you guys. So thanks so much to all the guys that have subscribed already. Turn on those pesky notifications or just flat out like the videos and giving us a big thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Over the last few weeks, we've been running a competition to rename our exciting new product, the Power Lock. And we do have a winner, it's from Saul Ornelas. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, Saul, thanks for your suggestion. We're gonna be calling it the Hex Lock from now forward. And if you could just uh, DM us and we'll get in contact and post one out. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to change an 11 tooth front sprocket bearing. Now they are made of plastic and the plastic wears out way faster than does the standard needle roller bearing that comes on the 12 tooth and above front sprocket. So as you can see, we've got two sprockets here. This is the 11 tooth front sprocket from a Rotax and this is the 12. Now if you're using a 12 or above, you're gonna use a little needle roller bearing just like this one and you use a little bit of grease to keep those lubricated and they last for ages because it's a needle roller bearing. This little guy on the other hand has a tendency to wear out because the lubrication comes out and then the plastic wears really quickly. So you're going to need to know how to change this bearing more regularly because it does wear out a lot faster than the needle bearing. So now to change this little bearing, you have to press it in and press it out. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So there's a few different ways you can change the bearing out. The first way you can do it is with a little pusher like this. So the first way to install it is with a little piece of aluminum and it's got a spigot here turned down that the bearing sits on. You can buy these from Rotax, otherwise if you've got access to a lathe or you know someone that can whiz it down for you, it's a pretty simple component and uh, you can whip that up in no time. The first thing we're going to do is put the bearing on the, on the spigot like this, put it down in the sprocket and then simply tap on here with the hammer lightly or use a press, our preferred method. Okay, so now to get the bearing back out of a 11 tooth, so say you've used it and it's now past its use by date, you wanna change it out. So on the other end of the pusher, there's a, a step in it that fits down inside the bearing for location, and then simply tap it back out the other way. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. You're at home, you're like, Des, I don't have one of these fancy tools, but I just need to get the job done. So to do that, you can simply order yourself the new bush online, put it into the sprocket, and then tap it in with a hammer. And there you go, just use light pressure so you don't damage the plastic. So when you're tapping that in with a hammer, make sure you don't hit it too hard in any one place to deform the plastic. And we're using it here on the Rotax clutch drum just to keep it more stable. Okay, now for the removal process at home, if you don't have a specialized tool, you can find a suitably sized socket out of your socket set and a bit of an extension bar. So simply put the socket on top of the bush and lightly tap it with a soft hammer. So it is a very simple job and a routine maintenance issue. These will wear out with time and you should pull your clutch drum off before each event and definitely re-lube this bearing because it does run dry all the time. One of the things to look for when this bush is worn is an, a really loud screeching noise when you pull back into the pits. And what that is, is this bearing is starting to seize up on the crankshaft. And that just means it's very worn or very dry or both. And it might be time for a change to a new bush and definitely time for a regrease. So there you have it, the 11 tooth clutch bearing. It's pretty easy to get it done, now you know how. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing giving us a thumbs up and turning on those pesky notifications. You can also head on over to our Instagram page. We're really putting up a lot of great new content over there at Power Republic. We can go to our amazing website, www.powerrepublic.com.au, get yourself a t-shirt or a 11 tooth clutch bearing. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.